Welcome to the session on expanding multiplexer. In this video, we shall see how we can design a MUX of larger size using smaller sized MUX. In the first example, we are asked to design a 16 is to 1 multiplexer using 8 is to 1 multiplexer. Let us see how to do that. See, 16 is to 1 multiplexer has 4 select lines. 16 input line and one output. 8 is to 1 multiplexer has 3 select lines, 8 input lines and one output. So in order to get 16 inputs, I need Two eight is to one multiplexer this will have eight data lines this will also have eight data lines. So this will be D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7. So D8, D9, D10, D11, D12, D13, D14 and D15. Now for the 16 is to 1 multiplexer, 16 input lines are done. 16 is to 1 multiplexer has 4 select lines, whereas 8 is to 1 multiplexer has only 3 select lines. S2, S1, S0, S2, S1, S0. So let us connect these select lines. Next, each of this multiplexer has a active low enable input. Now to get the select line S3, I can do this connection. If we write down the truth table of 16 is to 1 multiplexer, so this will be starting from 0, 0, 0, 0 and ending at 1, 1. 1 and 1. So output will be D0, D1, D8, D15. S3 is 0 for first 8 values and S3 is 1 for next state values so if i make active low enable as the s3 line and use a not gate and connect it to the second multiplexer so at a given instant of time only one of the two muxes will be enabled suppose if s3 is 0 then e bar will become 1 and this mux is enabled that means you will get the first 8 values depending on the S2, S1 and S0 and if S3 is 1, this MUX is disabled and this MUX is enabled. So I can select anywhere from D8 to D15 based on S2, S1 and S0. So I will have an output from both of this multiplexer. This 
which can be given to an OR gate so which will be my final output in the second example we are asked to design 32 is to 1 multiplexer using 2 16 is to 1 multiplexer and 1 2 is to 1 multiplexer 32 is to 1 multiplexer has 5 select lines 32 input line and 1 output 16 is to 1 multiplexer has 4 select lines 16 input line and 1 output whereas 2 is to 1 multiplexer has 1 select line 2 input lines and 1 output. Now in order to get 32 input lines, I will need 2 16 is to 1 multiplexer. So there are 16 data lines here starting from D0 and ending at D15. So this is a 16 is to 1 multiplexer and this is also a 16 is to 1 multiplexer. There are again 16 data lines here. starting from D16 and ending at D31. So the 32 input lines is covered. Now we need 5 select lines out of which 4 select line can be gotten from 16 is to 1 multiplexer. S3, S2, S1, S0, S3, S2, S1, S0. Let us connect these select lines together. And each one of the 16 is to 1 multiplexer will have an output. Now you have 1, 2 is to 1 multiplexer. with one select line, one output and two data lines. Let us connect the output of the first multiplexer to D0 of this multiplexer and the output of second 16 is to 1 multiplexer to D1 of 2 is to 1 multiplexer. So this will be D0 and this will be D1 for 2 is to 1 multiplexer and this select line will be S4. So this complete block will be your 32 is to 1 multiplexer with one output, 32 inputs and 5 select lines S4, S3, S2, S1 and S0. You can verify this if you want. Now if S4, S3, S2, S1, S0 is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Since S4 is 1, this data line gets connected to the output. So D1 is the output of this multiplexer. So this multiplexer data line is selected by S3 to S0 which is 0, 0, 0, 0. So D16 will get connected to Y 
and y is in turn connected to d1 and d1 is connected to z so d16 will be connected to z suppose if s4 is 0 and s3 s2 s1 s0 is 0 0 0 1 then d0 gets connected to z because s4 is 0 and d0 is connected to y and the output y is determined by s3 s2 s1 s0 of this multiplexer which is 0 0 0 1 so d1 gets connected to y and y in turn is connected to d0 and d0 is connected to z so z will be d1 you can do this for all 32 input combinations and see that one of the data lines from d0 to d31 will be connected to the output depending on select lines s4 to s0 thank you